to say something about all the naysayers who were slagging this off when we suggested that we should do this. Right? People like Chris Trotter on his fucking blog, Bo Alley Road, said the time wasn't right for the revolution. The problem with those people, the time's never right for the revolution. So we started something very powerful yesterday with a huge angry march that involved a lot of young people who've never been on things before. We've helped this camp. We've built something here. Give yourselves a huge round of applause for achieving that. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, what I'm hoping to achieve today is that we exist for a day in a public space and don't get too hassled. But ultimately what I'm hoping is that we're able to exist for a number of days and maybe a couple of weeks even. And uh, offer some kind of alternative to the spectacle of the Rugby World Cup and the larger consumer capitalist um, structure that exists around us. It's time. It's time for you know, a revolution and it's happening. So it's for these kids, actually, so this is perfect. <laughs> People have been unhappy for a really long time. They're unhappy with, with the discrepancy between what we want as a community and what we're getting from the politicians in response. We're getting a lot of empty rhetoric and they're not really serving the people who put them in their positions of power. Um. John Key used to work for Merrill Lunch and he was in charge of euro bonds and derivatives. So gee, I wonder how much John Key personally contributed to today's financial crisis. People have got money to spare just because they've lost some investments, they're getting bailed out. People are losing their homes. Uh, 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 and uh, uh, being turfed on the street. My name is Chloe King and I'm yeah. here mainly from a feminist I mean, position in a lot of ways. And when I say feminist, I mean um, about equality for all, um, but also fighting for women's rights as well. Like women have been earning 70 cents in the dollar compared to men for a very long time. And I think it's time um, in the workplace a bit changed. This is not just a protest of one issue, it's a protest of many issues. One of the ones that has definitely brought me here is what happened with the um, Internet Amendment Act that went through um, come the start of September, when the government, under emergency law, passed a act which had only had two sittings, which in itself is just a blatant, um, well, walk around of democracy, and it's disgusting to see, especially when it is such a controversial law, which many have already demonstrated they are so passionate about. We've seen this coming through statistical analysis. It's uh, literally a logical conclusion that people are been given no other um, option but to actually come together and uh, try and alleviate the death grip our economy has on this um, on this planet at the moment. Why I think it's really important that we um, do something about it once and for all, do something about the system once and for all and I think um, actions like this one that come down to support it. I think the main reason that I'm here is that I, I think that a system where we try to talk about democracy, we try to talk about um, being fair and when you have one percent of the world's population that owns so much of the wealth that leaves the the 99 percent to kind of you know squabble over the scraps that are left how can that system lead to a true democracy how can that system lead to anyone having a fair go at anything currently one percent of the population owns 60 percent of the wealth and the rest of the 99 percent the proud 99 percent we have here today they're the ones doing all the work. Uh, we're definitely at the beginning of what is likely to be the largest rebellion and global revolution that's happening all over the world, no matter what corner. Um, all ages, races, ethnicities, religions, all coming together. John Key can suck my dick hiding in his mansion. While half the population flies across the Tasman, the other half try to act like it's not happening, thinking that they're rich with their higher purchase plasmas. Asking what's the matter? There's no depression in New Zealand. Here, just a slow sinking feeling. You won't find me at the World Cup cheering while the All Blacks fall flat, funded by your tax. Dignity, I can't afford that on minimum wage. That shit is insane when rent is half of my pay. Nobody's laughing these days, though the economy's a joke. Except for bourgeois assholes, you know how that goes. Socialism for the rich, capitalism for the poor. Want us to live in shit, keep us struggling and bored. Cause if we waited and thought for one second that we deserve better, there ain't enough pigs to protect them. Keep rent expensive and the wages low. Get them losers that wins out digging some holes. Saying work will set you free, yeah it's good for the soul. I mean kill the poor while they come and ask for your vote. Mind the national parks, cut the funding for arts. Blame every social problem on solo mothers and 
don't bludge is the working class once again getting fisted until we say different ain't no one gonna listen to us. Right on.